welcome back for another video. Let's get straight into it. Ahead of Gamic 32, we're going to dig into the experts' data, looking at their top transfers, the experts' team, and of course, captaincy, in perhaps the toughest gaming of the season to pick one. We've just had Double Gaming 35 announced as well, so we'll cover that here as well, with everything you need to know. Let's get into it. Starting with the manager highlight, and FF Vamps finished on an impressive 72 points last week, which extends his lead in the Experts League, and he's up to 122nd in the world. We've got three experts in the top 500 with him, 25 in the top 10k now. Malcolm got the largest score of 93 points, massive green arrow for him to 23k. Did you manage to beat the Experts average of 60? So just as I hit record, the Premier League have announced Double Gimmick 35, so let's have a look at the announcement. Chelsea and Spurs will double, Chelsea's double is Aston Villa away and then Spurs at home, and Spurs will have a double gimmick of Arsenal home, Chelsea away. It's going to be a very sharp turnaround with Gimmick 35 ending on the 2nd of May and Gimmick 36 starting on the 3rd of May. So Sun and Palmer are the essential picks for this obviously. Captaincy is going to be quite tough because Sun's got a stellar record against top teams. For example, in his last 8 games against Arsenal, Sun's got 8 returns, 6 goals and 2 assists. The defenders don't look so appealing here, perhaps Vicari might be the way to go to rack up save points. There's not many Chelsea players leaping out either besides Palmer. Gusto's only 4.3 mil, so he'll be a cheap option with attacking threat. Again, Petrovic is a solid option in goal, and we can deduce that Double Gaming 37 will be as predicted, Brighton, Chelsea, Man City, Man United, Newcastle and Spurs to double. So that means Chelsea and Spurs will have a Double Gaming 35, Single Gaming 36, and then a Double Gaming 37. Chelsea and Tottenham single gaming in between is a good one as well. Chelsea will have Forest and Spurs will have Burnley. Spurs are going to have a brutal schedule. They'll have Arsenal home, Chelsea away and then Liverpool away in the space of 7 days. We'll talk more about the doubles in next week's content so make sure you subscribe. Those are just my initial thoughts. So moving on to experts transfer activity. This week the transfer situation is a lot more straightforward. We've got 66% rolling, 34% are making one transfer. Of course we had lots of wildcards last week and it is good practice to always aim to roll immediately after a wildcard rather than spend a transfer or to book one in. No chips active among them this week. So which players are they bringing in and who are they selling? The top transfer in is 8 Nori, 12% have bought this week. Wolves have got a home fixture to West Ham and 8 Nori scored their only goal last match. If we pull up his heat map for the last 6 games played you can see just how advanced he is at times, playing like a winger. Or better yet, look at his shot heat map. Just a couple of shots taken outside the box over the last 6 games, almost entirely shooting in the box. It reminds me of Alonso when he was at Chelsea, finding himself taking up positions that a striker typically does. The defenders that are making way for him are the likes of Estupinian, Dallo, Doughty, Taylor, Bradley and Ake. Vardiol's the second top transfer, albeit just 6%. Man City have got the best clean sheet odds for Gamic 32 away at Palace. Everton have got good clean sheet odds themselves. Daesh is home to his old club Burnley. 4% are buying Mikalenko, 4% buying Branthwaite. There's not much between these two. Branthwaite has just risen in price to 4.3 mil. He's my preference. Just one manager selling Saka and the rest are holding him. The latest from Arteta is that, quote, We'll know of our training session in a few hours. We'll know whether he is fit or not. He says everyone else seems to be okay. And it was also reported that Saka trained before the looting game and he was just sure of where Arsenal wanted him to be to play. So reading between the lines, he should be fine. Elsewhere, Ariola looks set to miss out again. David Moyes said he was hopeful it won't be too long till he's back. Just one manager's picking up Foden after his hat trick. No doubling Gamic 34, of course. However, if you plan to free hit Gamic 34, then there's a massive opportunity to pick him up, while the non free hitters are largely focusing on double Gamic players. Though we saw Pep bench Haaland and De Bruyne last match, it does Foden start all games. Man City have got a jam-packed schedule. After Palace, they've got Real Madrid midweek in the Champions League, and then Luton home, followed by the second leg to Real Madrid midweek again, and then Chelsea in the FA Cup semi-finals that weekend. If there was ever a game to use a few peripheral players, it's Luton at home, surely. Moving on to experts captaincy, and it's a big one this week. We've got Palmer against Sheffield United off the back of a hat-trick against Man United. We've got Sun home to Nottingham Forest, and we've got arrested Haaland against Palace, and we've got Salah against Man United. Nine goals, four assists for Salah in his last eight meetings with them. So the results are unbelievably split. Palmer's top with 35% of the experts captain in him, Haaland in second with 26%, Salah in third with 21%, and then it's Sun in fourth with 18%. FPL review projections have got them very close as well. Salah's top on seven points, Sun 6.8, Haaland 6.7, Palmer 6.3. Interestingly, the captain poll results reflect differently, but not surprising given how little separates these four. 
If you want to back pure goal scoring odds, then Haaland's the likeliest, given a 53% chance of scoring any time, and then Sun with 47%, Salah 41.5%, Palmer 38%. Though as we know, midfielders get an extra point per goal and they can get a clean sheet point, so that runs close. Moving on to the experts team for Gemic32. If this has been a helpful video so far, make sure you're subscribing. The next few weeks are going to be big ones with a lot of role transfers to spend in 33 and then the double in 34 and another double in 35. The team is Neto in goal, Gabriel, Saliba and Gusto in defence, Salah, Palmer, Sun, Saka and Foden in midfield, Haaland and Solanke up top. So it's Palmer captain, Haaland vice. On the bench, Ariola, 8 Nori, Mateta. With a whopping 66% roll on this week, we can expect to shake up to the template team next week and in 34. So those of us without a free here, what's the best double gimmick 34 team to build towards with our transfers now? There's some obvious picks like Salah and Saka. This is FPL Review's optimal gimmick 34 free here, which could of course change based on injuries. It's Pickford, Gabriel van Dijk and Mikalenko in defence, Salah captain, Saka, Erdegaard, Eze and Elise, Darwin and Solanke up top. There is the likes of Saliba, Mateta, Cunha, Sarabia, Aitnori etc missing out here who are sound picks as well. So this should help us guidance anyway as there's three game weeks till then so we've only got three or four free transfers maximum. Finishing up with the experts final thoughts and tips for Gimmick32, here's what they had to say. Alan Kelly says, if you can bank the transfer, bank it. Bigger gains to be had ahead of this week. FPL Obsessed Family says, The short turnaround again will likely mean we need to brace for more rotation, although those rest in midweek are likely to come back in. Midweek European fixtures also likely to affect some teams this game week and next, so strong benches are likely needed. Forza Inter says, I'm not sure what hurts more this past game week. My wife dropping a newly sharpened chef's knife into the sink while I was washing the dishes, slicing open one of my knuckles and requiring a trip to the hospital, or selling Foden instead of KDB for Salah and then captaining him. Yep, definitely the latter. My wife is an angel, it's FPL who's the cruel mistress. Although I'm tempted to sell KDB this week simply out of spite, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and hope that he and Haaland extract their revenge on Palace this week after being rested by Pep. Sometimes in FPL you just have to digest the trauma and the blood and steer the course. FPL Sparky says, difficult captaincy decision this week. It definitely makes the game more fun. I'm torn between Salah, Palmer, Haaland and Sun. You could even make the case for Saka if he's fit and Solanke. I may get one of my kids to choose like they do with the Grand National Horse Picks. Good luck everyone. Shout out to FPL Kush by the way who built the dedicated webpage for the experts to submit their responses. I previously had to do it on spreadsheets and it took ages. Anyway Kush says I might be forced to burn a transfer. And lastly Aman Palman says end this season already. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful hit subscribe for more experts videos to guide you through the running. Appreciate all your support and I'll catch you on the deadline stream.